what's going on. I wanted to, uh, I wanted to do a video for a while on new pipe smokers, or four new pipe smokers. And I did it two days ago, and it was getting uh, dusk, and it was 8.30, and when I started the video, it was light, and, uh, by 10 minutes it was dark and you couldn't see me. I was holding a phone <laughs> underneath me so you could see my face. And I didn't want to put that out there. So I decided to redo it. So anyway, if you're new and you want to try out pop smoking, and I want you to watch this video. And this, this is, you know, can stay on here if you're new 10 years from now because it it uh i think it'll help you because if you if you get on you know uh other sites and stuff you're going to get a thousand different opinions and uh mine's not mine might not be the right opinion but i think it'll help you i really do because i i want you to uh I want it to be an enjoyable experience, and I don't want you to spend a lot of money. Uh, so I'm going to give you ways to do that. So the three things you need uh, to start pipe smoking is pretty simple. You need a pipe. You need tobacco. And you need a way to lot the tobacco in the pipe. Now, the pipe, there's expensive pipes out there that you can buy three, five thousand dollar pipes. You can buy a hundred dollar Peterson Savinelli's. Uh, you can spend, you know, three, four, five hundred on artisan pipes up to a uh, thousand. Dunhills are expensive. Here's what I suggest. On your pipe, Get you a Missouri Meerschaum. Get you a coin cob to start out. Now, uh, I suggest one with a wood shank, and you might not even know what that is. Uh, or you can get you a basket pipe, and what I mean by basket pipe. Uh, a pipe that's, say, $30, $20. That's a basket pipe. Could be under 50. But anyway, don't spend no money. I, I Just order your corn cob. Because your taste, you don't, you haven't acquired your taste buds perfect. You, you know, just see if you like it. There's no you spend on. I don't want you, like I said, I don't want you to spend a lot of money. So uh, get you a corn cob. Uh, second thing, how to light it. Go to the dollar store and get you some matches. You can get 300 matches in a box. You can get those for a dollar. Uh, you can get the little, little bitty boxes of matches. You can get those. Matter of fact, it, there's still businesses out there that give the the matches away to people for advertisement. It's got their, you know, their logo on the front. But get you a match. Get you some matches. You don't have to have no lighter you don't have to have uh anything like that just get you a match cheap dollar for 300 and that'll do you for a long time uh, and the missouri the missouri meershams you're looking at six eight bucks uh some of them yes are up to the twenty dollars uh but uh you don't you don't need to spend that when you're starting i mean you really don't you you can have an enjoyable smoke with corn cob and with matches, I promise you. Now, the third thing, that's where it gets a little bit more difficult. And uh, that's the tobacco. Now, like I said, if you go on these forums, you know, on Facebook or the old forums, uh, Pop Magazine, stuff like that, or 
if you know people on the Y2PC, is that they're going to tell you all sorts. Get this blend, get that blend, get this blend, get that blend. And and you're going to have hundreds, if not a thousand different blends, according to how many people you talk to. And that's going to cost you, if those blends are, that's going to cost you, if they, you talk to a thousand people, that's going to, at ten dollars a piece for a blend, that's gonna cost you some money. You know, if you got a hundred different blends, you know, at ten dollars a piece, and that's gonna cost you some money or five dollars a piece. Uh, it's still five hundred dollars if it's a hundred people. I'm not trying to get you to spend that kind of money. I'm trying to get you started cheap. See if you like it. Okay. So what I suggest you do. And it, I'm not going to suggest a blend for you. I'm going to let you pick it out because you know what tastes, you know what sounds good to you. And I suggest, go right here. Use your phone. Up on top here, type in. What are the best, what are the best pipe tobaccos uh, for beginner smokers? And the first thing here is smoking pipes. It's got top 11 best-selling aromatic tobaccos. There's another smoking pipes. There's pipes and cigars. You know? And, they, uh, they, you know, it, uh, they all tell you. Windy City. There's Windy City. Uh, the Pipe Nook. So all of them has... Right there, right there is your tobaccos. So, anyway, let's just go to one. Let's go to smoking pipes. So it's smoking pipes here. Once you go to Smoking Pops, right here, there's three little dots. Click on that. And you see it right there? It says Pops, Tobacco, Cigars, Accessories, and Specials. Let's click on Tobacco. Now, right here, you can see 10 bestsellers and bulk bestsellers. I want you to go to bulk because bulk's going to be cheaper. So let's click on bulk. And there it is. Top 25 best selling bulk to buy tobaccos. Uh, Peter Stokeby's Luxury Bullseye Flake. Lane Limited. Lane Limited 1Q has been on there for years. It is without a doubt the most sold tobacco in the world. Um, it's a blend that I don't like, but there's thousands of people that love it. Uh, Peter Stokeby's Luxury Navy Flake, Balkan Supreme, uh, Luxury Twist Flake, New Minister Superior Navy Flake, Gawith and Hogarth, Dark Bird's Eye, Lane Limited BCA, which is an aromatic, Eric Stokeby's Fourth Generation Evening Flake, Lane Limited, RLP-6, uh, McBurn, Double uh, H, Old Dark, Fired, Ready Rubbed, uh, Balkan Mixture by Galvath and Hogarth, Sutliff, Vanilla Custard, Sutliff 507, Virginia Slices, and I could keep going. Now, I suggest you go to Bulk. Why? Because Bulk is a lot cheaper. So I'm going to scroll up to the number one and... Let's go to the Lane Limited 1Q. Click on Buy Now. And here it is. Right there. One ounce, $2.75. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to go on there. If you're brand new, you go on there. You order you a couple of aromatics. You, to, you order you a couple of Englishes. Order you maybe one uh, Balkan blend. And, uh, maybe a, uh, order you a, uh, I don't know, a vapor. Or, a, and a vapor is a Virginia and a Perique. So, you're getting a couple of English, a couple of aromatics, a vapor, a Balkan. So, you're getting a variety. And they're $3 a piece, that's 18 bucks. You can order seven of them, that'd be $21. And then you can also get your corn cob from there. So you can order you a, a, a six, eight dollar corn cob, twenty dollars a tobacco. You're out thirty bucks. Well, thirty one if you 
But you, well, no, really about 30 because it's only a dollar for the matches. So I, I don't want you to spend no more than that. And you're going to have, you know, six, seven blends of tobacco. Uh, and, and you, I'm giving you a place to go to, to where you can read about it. And you can read which ones you like. And uh, there's nothing wrong with bulk blends, I promise you. There's nothing wrong with bulk blends. That's a, you know, and then once you kind of say, I like this blend, because you might not like, I didn't like my first several blends. You might not like the first five blends, but maybe the sixth is, is wonderful. Maybe you fall in love with it. Uh, and you might like the first blend that you try. So uh, that's what I suggest. I hope this has been informative to you. I hope it helps you. Uh, like I said, this is for somebody new coming in. If, uh, if if you're already a pop smoker, then this video is definitely not helping you. You already know what you like, what you don't like. So anyway, I'll get off of here now. I hope that you're smoking the blends that you love and the pops that you love. You have a good day. See you.